Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're going to be playing Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. It's a great one for beginners, this. I'm on a C harmonica, and it's in the mid-range of the harmonica, so it's going to be useful for just getting used to moving around the different holes. We'll go down to hole three at the lowest, which will be good practice for getting down to that hole, and just your all-round playing, getting nice, smooth, clean notes. There aren't too many lines, so it won't take us too long to get through it. You'll see the tab on the screen, and we'll go through it line by line. So let's get started. Grab your C harmonica, and we'll start with line A, which sounds something like this. Okay, so the tab is five blow, five blow, five draw, six blow, six blow, five draw, five blow, and then four draw, four blow, four blow, four draw, five blow, five blow, and then four draw, four draw to finish. Okay, so in terms of the rhythm and the sound of the tune, it should be recognizable to a certain degree. It's actually very angular. Most of the notes would uh, are the same length. Da 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 da. Very um, sort of uh, regular rhythm, which makes it quite useful when you're learning it. It's just really near the end there that that five blow um, is kind of held. Uh, okay, so follow the tab on the screen. I'm going to play that once more, I'll maybe play it a little bit slower. So I'll count us in on four. So just the first line, line A. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll play that slower again still in case you're not quite getting it at that speed. So one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Now line B is similar, the start of the line is similar, but then it does change near the end of the line because this line sort of resolves, which uh, by which I mean it, it goes back to the, the C note, it finishes on the C. So we're playing in the key of C on a C harmonica, it goes back to the C, which in our case is a four blow. So the first part of the line is all the same, we've got five blow, five blow, five draw, six blow, six blow, five draw, five blow, and then we've got four draw, four blow, four blow. And then it starts to differ slightly. We've got four draw and five blow, but then we've got four draw, four blow, four blow. So that's the four blow I'm talking about, the C note where we're resolving. So in total, that line would sound like this. So it's really just that last little bit. Which is gonna sound different from the first line. So we'll try that um, together, I won't play it too fast. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was line B. If we put those two together, it would sound something like this. So we'll count us in on four, play along if you can. One, two, three, Good, really, really nice. So, line C, this gets interesting here. We go, we have to go down to a, lo, uh, a three blow at one point. Now, if you are a beginner, hole three might be a tricky one. You might not be too used to getting down there. So a good little bit of practice for getting to those lower notes. 
So we start uh, on hole four, and we've got four draw, four draw, five blow, four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, five blow, four blow, four draw, and then five blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow, four draw. Then it's the three blow. And then the last note of the line, the five blow, I'm going to talk about a little bit more when we get to it because um, that needs a little bit more explanation, I suppose. So the line sounds something like this. Okay. So the five blow at the end there, I feel I should uh, explain this a little bit. If you actually look at the next line, so you look at line D, you might, if you're eagle-eyed, you might have noticed that that's the same as line B, apart from it's missing a five blow at the start. So if you look at all those notes, they're all the same, it's just that D doesn't have a, an extra five blow at the start. And that's because I've actually tagged that onto the end of line C. And there's a good reason for that, because it comes sooner than you'd expect it. It's quite quick from that three blow up to the five blow. Okay, so I've put it at the end of that line, even though you could consider it the start of the next line, just because they sort of run into each other. So it goes four, uh, three blow, and then straight onto the five blow. And what I actually did at the end of that line was I slid, I, I did a glissando, if you like, a, a rip up from three blow. I'm actually keeping on blowing or breathing out as I move up the harmonica. So I didn't uh, miss out hole four, although it's not written in the tab. That You don't have to do that, that's just an option there if you want to. But that five blow comes on quite quickly after the three blow. I'll just play it again so you can hear how it sounds. This is line C. Okay. So, let's try it together. I'll count us in on four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And at that point, we'd be straight into line D. So, that five blow is almost... Well, it's almost like C and D are the same line. They're all just one big line because they run on from one to the next. Um, so let me just play line C and D together. I know we haven't looked at line D yet, but I just want you to hear how one runs into the other. So I'll play line C and D here, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so line D, as I said, is the same as line B. It's just that that five blow is actually tagged on to the end of line C. So I won't bother reading out the tab. You can see it on the screen um, anyway. So if we put lines A to D together, um, it would sound something like this. Uh, have a go at joining if you want. I'll try not to play it too fast. Um, and we'll come in on four. So one, two, three, four. How did that feel? Hope you enjoyed playing that. Um, I did something sneaky there. The end of line C into the start of line D. I actually played... I suppose I just played one breath. Instead of playing a five blow at the end of line C and then 
a five below at the start of line D. I kind of just went. I just did a little. Instead of going two separate notes, it was just a little bit of a subtle articulation, if you like. Um, anyway, minor point, but just something I, I I didn't mean to do it or I didn't know I was going to do it. I just did it. So uh, one of those things, if you're a beginner, you'll start to find out as you experiment with things that you might start to do these things yourself. So lines E and F are actually just repeats of lines C and D. So you would play line C and D and then you play the exact same thing again just to finish off this, this section of the song. And that would be the end of the section that we will look at. Um, there are other movements, obviously there's a whole symphony, but this is the section that we'll be looking at that ends the Ode to Joy section, if you like. It does repeat a few times, so you could play the whole thing over if you wanted to. So just to give you a taste of that, I'll play parts C and D and then E and F, which, as I say, are just repeats of C and D. Um, so it'll sound like a doubling up of C and D. Um, play along with me if you want. I'll do a kind of medium tempo and we'll be in on four. One, two, three, four. I put a little bit of a tremolo on the end there, kind of a bit of decay on the note. I'm just going, just a little bit of a, a kind of a breathy sort of sound just to finish off the tune. Okay, so I'll play parts A to F now, the full thing. Uh, please play along if you'd like to. I'll do it uh, sort of medium tempo and we're in on four. One, two, three, four. Great, that gets us to the end of this section on Ode to Joy. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Um, do give me your comments and your questions, your requests for future lessons, if there's something you'd really like me to play, um, or if you've just got a question about anything harmonica related, put it in the comments below and I'll try and answer it if I get the chance. Also subscribe um, on my website, I'd send free tabs out every month and find me on Facebook and Twitter as well because I put ex exclusive offers and information and uh, lesson advice on there as well. See you next week, cheers.